Okay, so far we've got the engine in the, in the, the motor and the transmission set up and aligned. I've modified the plate and drilled the first hole. Talk about that in a second. But before I go any further, I want to double check and make sure that everything is still lined up and that nothing shifted while I was fitting the plate. Now the problem we had is that one of the holes we're going to use is a blind hole. There's no way to get to the back of it. So we're going to have to put the bolt in from this side and I decided to use that as the first hole. The other holes will be able to shoot from the back for alignment. The other problem we had is that in order to get the distance we needed from the drive shafts to clear them, this first bolt was going to be too close to the edge to be able to put a bolt in. So what I did is I stacked up some scrap steel, welded it in place so that this piece is solid, drilled the hole all the way through, and now I've got a nice flat area for the bolt to ride on. I'll get good support, and hopefully the bolt will thread right in. So once I've got the first bolt in place, I'm going to go ahead and tighten it down almost all the way, enough so that the plate can move but not be too terribly flexible. And we'll see why in a second. Because of the way the motor is being mounted, I would like to make sure that this plate is plumb so that when I weld that one to it, I'll have a nice right angle and the motor will sit flat in the car rather than be tilted. So I'm gonna go ahead and check this plate and make any adjustments I need to to get it perfectly level, or in this case, perfectly plumb. And I need to space it up just a bit and try this again. And that is dead on. So now that I've got the plate where I want it, first of all I'm going to tighten this bolt down. Then I'm going to clamp the other side so that it doesn't slide or move around at all. Now I'm going to take a transfer punch, which is a cylinder the same diameter as the hole we're using with a small point on the, t on the end of it that's hardened. I can put that in the hole, so it'll center that point in the exact center of the hole, <laughs> tap it with a hammer, and I now have a divot right where I want the center of the drill to go to drill that next hole. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that for all the other holes. And now it's a matter of taking it off, drilling the rest of the holes, and that plate's done. We can test fit the plate and see how it fits the transmission. The good news is, since we piloted all the holes based on the transmission fittings, all the bits, bolts slide right in perfectly. No problems there. But now we have to cut a hole in the plate big enough to fit that coupler through. It's going to be almost a four inch hole. Since I left the motor and the transmission aligned, this coupler lines up with the center shaft on the transmission. I don't have to try to measure off the holes and do it, which would be the alternate way. Take the plate off, measure the distance from each hole to the center of the shaft, mark it on the plate, do it for all the holes, and you'll wind up with all those lines crossing right in the middle of the plate where the shaft comes through but I think this is a little easier. I'm actually just gonna rotate the coupler around with a magic marker against it, and I will have the circle of where the coupler is. I just have to drill that out. 